All right, hey everybody, my name is Dr. Marcella Wilson, and um, I'm a computer science professor, if you don't know who I am, and I help people um, build their blog. If you have a business, I help you build your blog, and I help people who have social media accounts like Instagram accounts, Facebook accounts, I help, help them build their followers. I help a lot of people with Instagram grow their following so they can get paid to post and things like that. So that's what I do. I'm Dr. Marcella Wilson, and every day I do a little live stream, a short live stream. Sometimes in my, I do it in my car. I call it my car chronicles, but today <laughs> um, I'm not doing it in my car. So if you see me looking back and forth, I'm on Facebook Live. Hi, guys. And I'm on Periscope. Hi, guys. So I'm on both today. Um, so if you've been checking me out for, um, uh, recently, you see all this week we're, we've been talking about 2017 and achieving your goals and how to have success in 2017. So yesterday I talked about using a social media management tool to be successful in posting on your social media accounts because most of the people I work with, I don't know about you, I don't know about you, but most of the people I work with are just starting out or they're not at the place where they can hire somebody to um, hire one person to sol solely handle their social media accounts. They don't have enough money for a social media manager. So what I recommend is using um, an online social media manage tool, management tool like Hootsuite or socialoomph.com. If you go to yesterday's live stream, you'll see that um, there. I have links to it and I have notes and you can listen to that. I personally um, use Hootsuite and Social Oomph. Hoot, Hootsuite I use more most often. Um, sometimes I have someone helping me with my social media accounts. Sometimes I don't. So I kind of um, facilitate back and forth um, but what I do most of the times is I carve out like two hours once a week and I schedule all, all my social media posts for that week or the next 10 days or or whatever and that really helps me get a, a focus on what I'm trying to say and um, stay on track so and also I, th I think it helps me save time every day because it's not like you know, okay, what am I going to post about today? I'm able to sit down and think about, okay, this week I want to talk about the new year. Next week I want to talk about, you know, how to make money from your Instagram account. So I actually recommend that because it helps you kind of see the big picture. It helps you kind of plan out your series of what you want to what you want to talk about. And um, it it helps. I don't know about you. I got a lot going on. I got kids. I got work. I got all kind of stuff going on. And it helps me. Stop this. That you know you're driving along or you're doing something. You're like, oh, I forgot to post today. <laughs> you know, so it prevents all of that. And I do believe in the long run or in the big picture, it saves money and time. Um, so go listen to yesterday's um, video to hear that. If you're on my Periscope, go to my. Facebook page is facebook.com slash Dr. Marcella Wilson, and you can see the video about that. So today what I want to talk about, because yesterday I talked about using social media management tools to have social media success in 2017 to grow your following and to reach all kinds of goals and break plateaus and reach higher, lev higher levels because you can do that, and I'm here to help you do that. Um, so a lot of people come to me. Okay, so I, recently I've been working with a lot of people on Instagram. I work with people on Facebook as well. Facebook is awesome. Um, couple in, and this applies to Facebook as well. People have been coming to me like, hey, I want to get 100,000 Facebook followers because I'm a model and I want to get noticed or I am, I, I want to be a fashionista. So, you know, I need to grow my following. I because I want people to send me free clothes and I want to get paid to wear these clothes in the post. They, they essentially want to do a Kim Kardashian. Um, 
And you can do that. Lots of people can do that. And you don't have to have 100,000 followers or millions of followers like the Kardashians to do that. You could have like, you know, five figures. You could have 10,000 followers or 15,000 followers. I've even seen people with 8,000 or even like 3,000 followers get brands and companies to send them products, free clothes, and to get paid to post. However, um, and also people also come to me and say, hey, I want to get 1,000 Facebook likes. I'm trying to grow my Facebook page, my Facebook reach. I want to get um, 10,000 Facebook followers. Um, so can you help me do that? And I always say yes. And then we get to work. But the one thing that comes up, which they're, which most people kind of have an issue about, or they want to ask me for, let me back up. Most people are like, well, you know, I've been doing this for a minute or I just started. Um, how do I reach, you know, the number of followers or the number of likes that I want? And I say, okay, in, in short, the short answer is you have to post every day. Every day? Every day. Every day? Every day. And some people are like, do I really have to post every day? Yes. If you look at the social media accounts of the people who have millions of followers or even hundreds of thousands of followers, they post every day. Sometimes they post several times a day. Um, and you need to do this. This is non-negotiable. If you um, expect or want brands to pay you money or to send you their products or merchandise, you have to show consistency. You have to show that you're all in. And the way to do that, the way to get started to do that is to post every day on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, whatever social media account you're trying to grow. That is the baseline once a day. And you have to do that until, you know, you stop trying to grow your followers on Instagram. It's a beast, it's a grind, it's the hardest thing you have to do, but it's the best thing you have to do, and it will be the easiest thing you have to do. Now, I know that doesn't make sense, but if you think about it, you will. Okay, so think about the people you watch on uh, Instagram or you follow on Facebook. You love to see them every day. If you miss a day, you're like, oh, let me go back and see what they posted yesterday or if they posted a video or something like that. You must show consistency. If you want to build a following, you have to give them something every day. Now, it didn't used to be like that. You know, when blogs just came out, it was like, oh, you put out a blog post once a week. And you still should do that. However, if you're trying to grow your social media following, especially if you want to get to the point where it's your business or you want people to pay you to post, then you need to post every day. That's the baseline every day. Um, so if we go back to what I talked about yesterday, it's not as hard as it seems. If you use a social media management tool, you can plan your post. So every day you're not sitting down at the computer or on your phone like, oh my gosh, what should I post today? You take some time out once a week, an hour or two, and you set up your posts and they will post automatically for you throughout the week. It's not that hard because you're not at the point. Most people I work with are not at the point where they can hire somebody and say, hey, post for me. You know, Rihanna has that, but, you know, we don't. So what I want you to get into the habit of doing is posting at least once a day. Okay. Now, it's not as hard as you think. Now, there are different kinds of things you can post every day um, because some people who are like into fashion and stuff, they're like, do I have to post a new outfit every day or I don't have a lot of clothes or I'm going to get 365 outfits? We'll talk about that tomorrow. That you don't always have to post, you know, a picture of you every day, <laughs> you know, whatever your niche is, whether it's fashion, photography, food exercise, fitness, real estate, um, um, home decor, um, I don't know, education, whatever it is, um, there are some kind of 
cheats and easy ways to post every day without really having to do the work. And I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. But um, what I do want to let you know or what I want you to take away from what we're talking about today is that, yes, you must post every day to build your Instagram following. Hey, Paula. I see my friend Paula just joined. I love and miss you. Happy New Year. Um, you must post every single day. Okay? If you want to build that following, you've got to be consistent. And your following wants to hear from you every day. So... Um, what I want to refer you to is my blog. So I have a blog post on there and it talks about how to be successful in 2017 and the one thing you need to do to be successful. So go to MarcellaWilson.com and check that out. All right. So read my blog post. It's the one thing you need to do to be successful in 2017. And I'm actually going to show you that I'm going to flip the screen around I just love this live streaming stuff you see if I can I'm going to move this and flip the screen around as soon as my page loads <laughs> and then I'm going to get out of here because I got to pick up my girls from school all right I'm going to flip all right so here is my uh website my blog is MarcellaWilson.com. Here is the blog post. I want you to take a minute and read. It's the one thing you must do to accomplish your goals in 27, because that's what I'm talking about all week, accomplishing your goals, um, because that's important. Goals are important. All right. I'm going to flip around. And all right, I'm out. I'll be on tomorrow around the same time, around 2 p.m. Eastern Central, Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, talking about um, blogging and social media and how to grow your business. All right, so I'm out. Paul, I love you. Kiss Anthony for me. I'm out. I got to pick up my girls. How do I shut this thing off? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, guys. Take care. Thanks for listening.